you know, I'm here to check on the status of the, the case against me. Do you have your ID? Yeah. Uh, disorderly conduct, failure to ID. And what did you want to know about it? Uh, if the prosecution has responded to any of the motions. Joanne. Joanne? Joanne. Okay. Okay. <sighs> and running around the courthouse again. I don't know what's going on here. I'm using my cell phone, so. No, I came here. I'm looking for Joanne. Joanne, she's in there. I checked in room uh, 131. They told me to find Joanne over here. Oh, I'm Joanne. Joanne? Yes. yes, they told me to come speak with you. Okay. What's in regards to? Uh, um, I filed some motions trying to find out if the prosecution responded to them. Oh, yeah, they, there was a note in there. What is your last name? Heron. Can you spell it for me? I'm sorry. H E R R O N. Yes. Okay. One R, right? Yeah. Okay. No, two R's. Two H E R R. And first name? Raymond, R-A-Y-M-O-N-D. It's showing that state has prepared a copy of the police report for discovery. Other discovery requests are unclear. Copy of police report will be provided at any court setting or available yeah. at at the pickup of the city attorney's office. Uh, have you gone, are you trying to pick up some type of information or some kind of discovery? Um, trying to see what the prosecution has responded to the motion. There were very clear motions, you know, motion to dismiss and the discovery. I can have, take you over to Judge Gonzalez's court. Um, these are cases that are handled by her. As far as the prosecutor states, um, they have discovery information ready for you at their office which is a copy of the police report will be provided in any court settings. 
available for pickup. Yeah, all they have, attorney attorney have is a police report. I have I have a police report, but is that all that they're yeah, attempting to prosecute on? Um, that's all the information that they have ready for you. Well, who's the prosecution assigned to the case? Uh, it's going to be Mario, and he's the gentleman right there. He's right over here? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Mario. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out, see if you're uh, willing to dismiss this case against me, the frivolous allegation. Check with her first. Check with her first? Yeah, what is the name? I got it right here. I printed it out. Oh, okay. I also need a copy for that case number, please. Oh, yes, uh, give him a copy. Give him yeah. that one here. Well, are you, uh, I'd have any intentions of dismissing it? What? I don't know. We'll talk to uh, the officers or when you get your hearing. Well, uh, I was here on the 7th and they forced me out. You know, they were trying to arrest me again for disorderly conduct, which is, you know, really silly. So I'm, I'm just trying to find out, you know, how to take care of this because I can't just keep coming down. There's no way to call on the phone to get it taken care of, you know, and it's, uh, it's a heavy burden trying to come in, you know, and, and deal with it when I'm supposed to be presumed innocent. So. You are presumed innocent. It was set, so you missed your court date on 12-7, but you can set it for a trial date. No, I'm, I'm actually, you know, trying to, well, do I have the right to enter an informed plea of guilty? Enter an informed plea? Yes, sir. Well, I'm, I'm trying to become informed, you know, and try to find out, you know, what, what evidence you have that, because I'm physically in a geographical location that the Constitution and statutes apply. That's why I submitted a, the motion to dismiss, submitted a Brady discovery request, you know. Yeah, so we'll, we'll give you whatever you, uh, did you, I mean... I know there's been another couple, I think, cases like that, and I did present, um, I did make copies of the police reports and everything like that. So No, I, I'm, I have a copy of the police report, but is that the only evidence that you're using as to prosecute? Far, as far as I know, yeah. You don't have any evidence satisfying your element of jurisdiction? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, yes, if, if I couldn't meet the very basic minimum, then no, I wouldn't proceed with the that's case. Not the, that's not the clarification that I require, that I asked. The you clarification can, you can set I require. it for any hearing with the judge, and then you can ask whatever you're asking for. Well, I'm, I'm not trying to set it. I'm supposed to be presumed innocent. I'm trying to find out what evidence you have to impose upon me. If all you have is just a, a, an officer's testimony, yeah, that's yeah. that's foolish. I want to know what evidence you have that because I am physically in a geographical location that the Constitution and statutes apply. Cases have gone back forever, right before we had videos and stuff, and testimony has always been a form of evidence. And it's been for a long time sufficient enough to find people guilty of much more serious crimes. So that's a logical fallacy. I'm, I'm sure you're. I'm sure you're. You're aware of that. Yeah, um, we're not going to reach any agreement here, so you should just set it for whatever court date you have, and then show up for that court date. Um, well, again, you're the one that has the burden, not me. So yeah, that's um, right. I, I intend to meet that burden. Can you put that phone down? Uh, no, I'm. I'm actually yeah. recording. Yeah, I know you are. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm actually recording, sir. Again, see, th this is what happened last time. I'm just trying yeah. to handle this here today, sir. That's all I'm trying to do. It's that you don't understand the law, sir. Well, I I'm not a lawyer. I'm trying to clarify. I'm trying to tell you, you need to set it for a hearing. At that hearing, you can ask the judge whatever. So the judge is going to be the go-between us, right? We're not going to come to any agreement right now. We're not. So you're, you're, you're attempting to prosecute on these frivolous allegations, yes? Okay, you want to turn that off, please? No, sir. Then you need to leave. I'm trying to handle business. You need to leave. Is this going to happen again? Really? Okay. I'm, I'm trying to handle business. Let's go. This is the second Let's time go, that sir. I've been I'm here. I'm not going to ask you a second time. Is, is this not a public Let's area go. to go? Are, are, you huh? are you threatening me now? Are you threatening me now? Yes, you're threatening me? Don't you're threatening to use violence, right? Again? Again? Yeah, you guys always do this. Every oh, time I come down guys. here. Oh, okay. You're just a thug. You're just a thug. That's all you are. No, sir. I'm good. I'm good where I'm at, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm good where I'm at, sir. I have business I need to handle here today, so now I'm out, so I'm here to handle some business. Okay, you're going to handle business, you turn that off. No, sir, I'm, I'm recording. Then you need to leave. No, is this not a public area? No, this is, this is a, court, a court area. So you're, you're making the determination that I can't record no, in look, here? I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not arguing. Turn I'm just trying to clarify. Or go. No, I'm, I'm not turning turn off my off recording. I'm not turning off okay. my recording. Huh? Can you please step out of my personal no, space? I, I feel threatened. I feel your threatened. You're, Are you putting your hand on me? You're walking That's to me. Step back. Step back, sir. 
Step back. I feel threatened. Step back. Relax. 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 You're good. Relax. Relax. Don't put your hand on me. Step no? back. You Step back. You're fine. Step back. You stepped into my hand, sir. I have it on film. I have it on film. Back up. Back up. Back up. Not until he backs up. Back up. See what I have to deal with? I come in and try to handle business, and they're telling me to go to trial. Like, and now they're trying to arrest me again? I know, but why, why do you have, I, I'm, I'm not sitting now, why do we have bailiffs acting unprofessional like that? I want to file a charge of uh, okay, assault so we'll do assault. I want to, I want to file assault on him and intimidation and harassment. Have a seat so we can take a report. Like, I don't have time to deal with it. That's very unprofessional. Have a seat so we can go ahead and what do I need to be here for? I, I, you're not the one that I have business to deal with. The one I have to business to deal with is the prosecution. What we'll do right now is tell me what we need to do. Dismiss the case. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> tell me what we need to do. Show me evidence satisfying the element of jurisdiction. Not, right now, let's find out what process you have to do. Unfortunately, something else occurred. So I'm going to have to make a case on what occurred. I'll find that out right now. But what I need to know is what is the process you need at this point to take care of your situation. And then what we'll I've do. already followed that process. I submitted a motion. So you're done. I believe. Okay. I've already submitted a motion to dismiss. I've submitted my documents. And I'm not going to make an uninformed plea and run the risk of perjuring myself. Okay. It's a crime to lie to the judge, right? It, 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 they'll in, impose upon me further, right? Can I have your name real quick, sir? City of San Antonio, Marcus Carter. Yeah, extension 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 